Hi guys, here Daniele. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your uh, uh, cable issues, connection issues uh, with your chip HP G2. What happened is basically that uh, I tried to format in my PC, I tried to restall everything, I tried to find many other ways for that this works, but uh, doesn't help. So I found that my particular Asus motherboard has uh, this issue that uh, doesn't give the right amperage to my H HP G2 and uh, cause that uh, my uh, device doesn't want to turn on. So let's see what uh, you, can, uh, you can have, you can see on your PC when you connect and you have this issue, um, your HP G2 in your PC. So you are in mix reality Windows Mixer Reality, and you have your HP G2 here, and uh, you plug your uh, HP like that, and uh, what happens after you plug even that, uh, wait a moment, but I cannot turn my camera, uh, okay, you see, you hear it? Sounds that is connect. It is, but it doesn't work. Mix reality right now is not answering to the to the device. It's like it's not recognizing the device. So what happened? I'm trying to to make it work. I turn on my even my controller. You see, it's trying to recognize him, and now you get this uh, error. Um, is in Italian, but I can, uh, trans I can translate for you. Is uh, an error seven fourteen. Sometimes is an error one four. Is the same error. <sighs> the problem is that you cannot. Uh, your device is still off, so it doesn't communicate with, uh, with your computer. That is why your amperage is not enough. And uh, even if you try many other uh, USB, you have the same problem. So, how can you fix that? As I mentioned that uh, before, you had to buy and now I don't know if you can see, but let me try. You have to buy, uh, okay, this external. Let me see. My problem right now is that I cannot switch to the other camera on my computer, on my phone. So. It's a problem. Okay, <laughs> let me let me try. Yeah, he. This is my external USB. So this is my normal USB. These are my normal USB or my motherboard. And uh, yeah, thing. If you can try to plug. Uh, Okay, many devices here. Here you can see it's a, uh, it's uh, just uh, an external PCI device. Okay, uh, it's plugged with a SATA cable. But seeing it right now is not so important because I, you can find uh, the link on the description of this video. I'm going to show you the right device that you are going to buy for solve this. So when now 
I switch my USB cable. Okay. That right now is connected on my device uh, motherboard. And now I'm going to connect in my external PCI USB 3.0. Look at what, what is happening here. And now the HP LED notification is starting to hold. And here is working. As you can see, it's working. Moment. So it's okay, it's working and the issue is solved. So just for uh, let you know that uh, before you, you, you are going to format your PC and you are going to spend all your day <laughs> and all your night for these uh, fucking issues, try to do that, uh, especially if you have my same motherboard. So as my motherboard is an, an Asus, and this problem is, uh, I I found that uh, is with a, um, is pop up with uh, many Asus motherboards. My particular motherboard is the Asus Prime X five seven zero P. Um, I don't know what happened and why it happened. But uh, why happens? But uh, it happens, and uh, if you want solve, uh, you have to buy this external PC, uh, PCI. Then uh, you have to be sure that you connect even your SATA power coming from um, SATA cable coming from uh, your um, power supply. If you don't, you don't do that your device is not going to work because um, this, this uh, external PC EI e needs uh, a power supply, power supply. So you have to put the SATA cable, then it's powered, and then your HP reverb is going to work. If you don't put that cable, the SATA cable doesn't going to work. So <laughs> what happened? Next was that uh, I was um, doing all this stuff and my device wasn't turned on. So I said, oh my gosh, now, and now don't forget, don't forget to connect because you know, the devil is in the details. So don't forget to plug even that, okay? the power mm, of your uh, uh, power supply of your HP because uh, he needs even that. He needs his original power coming from uh, his power supply and the, mm, that external PCIe powered by your computer power supply. So that's all. It's um, sorry for uh, <laughs> my mess in my room, but important that you solve. Uh, now your HP is working again. Um, thanks uh, for watching and uh, let me know in the comment below if uh, you, you finally fixed it. Okay, so bye and uh, thanks uh, for everything, uh, for uh, sharing these videos, for liking, for, um, I don't know, do what you want, for do what you want and um, see you later with another video if uh, it will be, I don't know, I'm not going to maybe to do other videos like that, but I'm trying to to do that uh, sometimes because, uh, you know, I like 
computers are like technology. So if I got uh, a problem, I solved by myself. And um, it's hard when you are working for three, four days for uh, uh, find out what happens with your device or with your uh, peripheral. And uh, when you get the solution, you get the solution. Uh, yeah, you are proud of, about yourself, but it's okay. You found that uh, from me, you can share it. Uh, you can help uh, other people that probably right now are frustrated like you was. <laughs> so let's be happy that people. <laughs> so enjoy your day and uh, bye.